Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now you may recall that last week I was sent a challenge in the post. I was sent some, some base items including a toy laser pistol, a pump action water pistol, a, 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 bo a, a water bottle holder for a bike and also something like a pouch for holding liquids. Um, and I was, I was challenged to make a, a funky ray gun type toy out of it. I got fairly, fairly, fairly far along with that particular project and I was quite happy with it. It was ready to be sort of painted and finished off in detail and I'm happy to report in the past couple of days I have in fact managed just that. This is the funky uh, Reagan type toy. Um, I couldn't be more happy with, actually, with how this has turned out. I mean I suppose given the fact that, that I didn't choose any of the parts that they would have sent my way I'm really quite pleased with this. Uh, the only thing that I've added in terms of parts is I put a, a, a a giant sort of ball bearing on the end of the of the uh, <laughs> the sort of the ray gun there because obviously all ray guns have to have like a little ball on the front. Um, but all in all, uh, really, all I've done since since you last saw this is I've added a couple of details here and there, some metallic parts, uh, some extra piping, and then I've painted the whole thing. I figured that painting it red would be uh, a really good idea, just, just to give it that sort of, again, that sort of retro future kind of feel to it, um, almost like a Bakelite uh, sort of phone or something. Uh, that's a, it's slightly, uh, I suppose, slightly almost like a kit, like a, like a, a um, a hyper designed kitchen utensil, you know, like from the 1950s, this kind of thing. But, <laughs> but, uh, but more to the point, actually, I really like the way that the that the different details have, in fact, come together. So at the back, we have the uh, we have the, the the pouch now filled with green liquid, which is quite cool. I put a biohazard sign on there, but I'm going to have to think think about how I do that, redo that properly. And inside, we've got some funky green liquid, which uh, looks quite cool. It does smell of washing up liquid though, I'm going to have to, uh, to fix that. Um, it magnets, uh, magnetises beautifully into the holder and you'll notice that I've also painted actually where the, the plastic, the what was white housing at the top there to make it look metallic. Um, the holder itself is attached via a, a tube now into the to the sort of the, the gubbins of what was the water pistol. That tube is clear and there's a reason why that tube is there. I actually made use of that from the next thing that you'll be seeing being built on this channel and um, it was a leftover from that build and then the other two wires I painted red. They feed into the domes here which I've added some some metallic parts, well sorry, sprayed silver metallic parts to the front and back of and uh, it lights up which is quite cool and um, and actually in turn I've connected but the two of them via, via uh, a tube underneath which is uh, again it's a nice little another little detail on there. Uh, I picked out a couple of places in silver paint so at the back we have the sort of the fan and the sort of this wiring sort of um, uh, cable and a couple of little screws here and there but really I wanted the, the overall thing to look very chunky and red and, uh, and really, with the, uh, but this also meant that, that, that I could afford to highlight things like the fin on the top and the front of the ray gun, uh, as you know, as the, sort of the the, the view, for the, you know, the sight of the viewfinder or whatever, to uh, to to shoot down presumably space aliens. Um, as I say, I put on the front the uh, the ball ball there. It's basically actually it's a giant metal marble actually. And I think it just finishes off finishes off the look rather well. And uh, and there we have it. Um, the overall uh, look of this thing is actually a friend of mine I showed it showed it to them on um, on Facebook and they said oh that's very Warhammer 40k and uh, and actually I think it is it's kind of Warhammer 40k it's 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 silly <laughs> it's very silly but it is a bit 40k ish and. Uh, and that's no bad thing, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, but anyway, there you go. Uh, I'm quite pleased with how this has turned out. One more thing that I did as well is that I added uh, foam to the to the back of this this housing here, some craft foam, and then also painted that red, just to just to make sure that each of these bits are closed up and that they look something like, uh, well, I suppose like individual components on the ray gun. But that's not too bad, I think. I think I've done quite well, considering, again, I didn't choose any of these parts. They were sent my way. 
and um, it actually inspired me to go out and try and see if I can find any, I suppose, other ray guns or other parts out there in the in the, you know, in local pound shops or something, and see what I can come up with. Indeed, what can you come up with? Are there any ray gun parts near you just begging to be brought together in a slightly crazy way? Um, yeah, why not? Why not have a go yourself? Maybe even uh, reply to this video with your video. That'd be funky. But. There we have it. This is this is my my funky ray gun. Certainly, certainly Mark One, as it were, and maybe Mark Two will come at a later date. Hopefully, you've enjoyed watching this process as much as I have enjoyed enacting the process. It's been a really funky little project, and actually, my, even my wife thinks that this is this is absolutely hilarious. Neither of us, as I've said in the past, neither of us are really gun people. I mean, yes, I've got uh, Mal's gun from, from Firefly, and actually, by the way, I've made some mod slight modifications to that. I'll have to share that in the near future on this channel. Um, and I'll, I'll also, now we have this thing here. But I think they both share something in so much as they're just cool. You know, they have a character of their own. Uh, it's not just like a military kind of thing. Uh, not, that there's, not that there's anything necessarily wrong with that, it's just that personally I'm not a massive you know, military nut. But I am a massive 40k nut and also a sci-fi nut and this fits both of those bills perfectly. Anyway guys, as ever, until next time, do take care. Bye bye.